It says Esco Texturizer. Esco Texturizer. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I am on the hunt for moisture as you can see my hair is So dry. I've got combination hair actually. I've got oily greasy part on the scalp. Let me just take this down and show you Yeah, so I've got dry parts down here now I know I said I like to clump my curls, but this is not what I had in mind. This is more matting Okay, so we're gonna have to try and hydrate this hair today and to do this, I'm going to be using a product that I never thought to use because I thought it was for processed hair. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? And naturals can use it. So I will be experimenting with it today because as the weather gets warmer, my hair gets drier and I can't do this. We're going to try and eliminate this today. So the product that I discovered is actually by accident. Now, if you saw my last video, my son recently got his hair big chopped for the first time ever, guys. He's eight years old. Go and check that out and then come back and watch this one if you want, vice versa. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I digress. He got his hair cut for the first time ever and I didn't know what his curls looked like. To be honest, I didn't even know if he had any curls. I just did not know because his hair has been always either protective styled or pulled back in the ponytail. So once his hair was cut, his hair was still quite wispy. He's got very thick hair at the back, which I know because when I used to comb it, that was the most curliest part and it used to shrink up the most. The front part is like my hair, where it's just more wavy and loose curls. So I didn't know, as I said, what his curls would be like. So I tried Eco Styler and it sucked out all the moisture of his hair. So his hair is cut now, I've got to deal with it. I've got to find something that works for his hair. So by accident, I just picked up a product and I don't usually buy my kids lots of kids products because what I use for my hair definitely usually works for their hair. But as I say, the eco styler, no, 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 not for his hair. It literally made his hair dry like the Sahara Desert. What I discovered by accident was this Curly Kids Curly Gel. I'm blown away by this product. If anyone's ever used it, then Hopefully, if you've got the results I've got, then you know what I'm talking about. But I've never really contemplated this before. And it says light control. And I was expecting it to be like a watery gel. So I was I thought it was like a really light version of Eco Styler, let's say. The ingredient that made his hair so juicy, just like this, is glycerin. Okay, so I've heard bad things and good things about glycerin. But one thing I do know is glycerin is a natural humectant which draws in moisture from the air. So it draws it into your hair, okay? And it keeps your hair moisturized. Now this, I can say with his hair is very true. I've done little finger curls and his hair's been like that all week and it's not been dry. The only thing is obviously when he lies down, his hair goes flat. So then I just pick it out with the comb. But other than that, the curls just spring back to life. It says moisturized. I did get a bit of residue build up. I didn't even shampoo it. I just washed it out and then just put more in his hair and perfect. Okay, so I was thinking, well, if it works for his hair, hopefully it's gonna work for mine because this, this can't go on. No. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> what I was looking into was other products that had glycerin in, okay? Other gels, I should say. And what I found, guys, is the good old S-curl gel. Okay, and it says that it's for um, processed hair, i.e. if you used to have a jerry curl. But I read that it's also good for natural hair. Well, it also can be used on natural hair. Now, I'm not going to use it the way it says to use it and you've got to do all this and comb through and blah, blah, blah. Because this S-curl says S-curl texturizer. S-curl texturizer. Woo! I just realized that this one says texturizer. I'm a bit... Mm, just for good measure, you know, I've got... The tube as well because I didn't want to uh, you know I, I, I just didn't want to run out okay so this one actually says this says curls waves and natural hair it says curl and wave gel activator anti-freeze with olive oil argonaut and paraben free I may go for the curl activator today so I think I'm gonna try this one today okay if you do want me to do a review on this as well I will do but I'm gonna use this one today so guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff I'm gonna wash my hair with a moisturizing shampoo the cream of nature Argonaut line moisturizing shampoo wash my hair come back once it's fully applied I'm not gonna apply it on camera because you've seen all that I'm gonna apply it to my hair come back and show you the end results once it's in my hair not dried yet and Then I will come back when it is dried and I'll give you my pros and cons 
All right, guys, so just carry on watching. Okay, guys, soon. so I'm back. The product is all applied. And what do I say about this one? <laughs> it's different. Um, it definitely activates the curls. So that promise has been kept. I don't know what I can compare it to. I don't think I've ever tried a product like this because it doesn't feel like a gel. It feels quite, quite water-based, but as I'm like wiping my hands off, it starts to feel slightly like a hair grease. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but then maybe that's the glycerin that will keep my hair moisturized and keep the moisture locked in. So I'm not sure, but I do love the shine. I definitely love the definition. Whether it shrinks up, curly hair shrinks anyway, so obviously, but whether it shrinks up a lot, I don't know, but uh, quite quite interesting product. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what it will be like once it's dried. I'm not gonna diffuse my hair, I'm gonna air dry it today because it's very sunny outside, you know, some roof open and get the wind blowing in my hair, you know. I haven't got any qualms as of yet. I'm just, I'm not fond of the smell. The smell is very mild, but it reminds me of a household fly spray, let's say. <laughs> so this is it for the minute. Let me show you the back. That's it, it's the S Curl Curl Activator. So let me know what you think so far, if you have tried it. And um, I will come back to you later with the end dried result. Okay. All right, guys, so I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, guys, so I'm back. Been out all day, and as you can see, my hair is dried. Now, where do I start? I am not happy. Touching my hair and my neck, it feels tacky. And not tacky as in it's sticking together, it just feels like, ugh, like I just need to wipe myself down. It just feels like clammy, it feels clammy. So if you do put your hands in your hair, be prepared to have a wet wipe or something close by because you're gonna need to wash your hands. Besides that issue, that con, I'm not impressed with the shrinkage, I must say. I didn't think my hair was gonna shrink so much. My hair is soft and bouncy. It's got a lot of volume and lightweight, as you can see. I do love the curl definition. I do like the volume, but I don't like the shrinkage. So what I think I may do, guys, because obviously, as I said, the Eco Style does dry my hair out. I may use this as a slight leave-in. I might layer it with an Eco Styler on top and see how that goes because then I feel like my hair is definitely moisturized. It feels, it does feel soft, but it feels, there's definitely like residue on my hand. Uh, as a product styler by itself, this is a thumbs down for me, but maybe as a leave-in, hopefully. Hey guys, so this is an update, and I just want to show you guys, I think I have found the best way to get a wet look style. Okay, so my hair looks like it's soaking wet right now, doesn't it? Yeah, I know it does. No, my hair is dry. My hair is dry, guys. I discovered this by accident. So as you know, I was using a glycerin S curl gel and you saw the result yesterday. My hair was all poofy and just, it wasn't defined. It wasn't, I weren't that impressed. So I went and laid it last night with Eco Styler gel, went to sleep, woke up and I was like, man, my hair's still wet. Then I looked in and I'm like, hold up. This is dry hair. What do you think, guys? My hair looks wet. My hair is dry. So guys, Yes, I found the secret. I don't know if I'm the first person to, you know. But yes, for me, I'm so happy. So I can go out every wash and go with a wet look. <laughs> and yeah, these are the end results. So guys, I do recommend trying the glycerin or S curl gel as a leave-in or a, uh, yeah, leave-in. Something you'd put underneath your styler. Um, I did, and it mixes well as well. But yes, guys, these are my results. I can't believe it. I wasn't expecting this. So happy and yeah, so if you want to try it out S Curl and Eco Styler Gel, you're welcome. All right guys, I've just got to go out now, so I will see you uh, on Thursday. All right guys, have a good week, bye.